hey, some of you might be a part of Bing's reward point system where if you complete enough quests and get enough points, you can redeem them for various gift cards. Well, one of the quests that you need to complete here is uh, this puzzle here. So the first thing you need to know is that if you just click on it, you'll get the, you'll get the points for the puzzle. So you don't really have to solve it, but that got me wondering, how exactly do you solve it? So I decided to make this video to show a very simple algorithm to solve any of these nine square puzzles. Okay, so here's a brief overview. The first step we're gonna do is we're gonna put one, two, and three at the top. Then we're gonna put four and seven in their correct places, and the rest will be very easy. So how do we do that? We start off by bringing two into this corner, so let's do that. And it might be easier to think of this puzzle, instead of moving tiles around, you're actually moving this empty space around. So if we click here, the empty space moves. And if we click on the two, uh, it replaces the empty space. So let's bring the empty space here, and then the two there. And we're gonna work our way up to this corner. Now what you wanna do is get one over here and three over here. So let's start with one. And if you do this and you sort of get stuck, you might just have to uh, forget about the one and do the three first or put the one very far away and do and then do the three and then put the one back. But in any case, this looks pretty simple. We can put the three over here and now we have one, two, three. We just got to shift them in the correct place by bringing the empty square here and then shifting everything. So the first step is done. All we need to do now is put seven here and four here. So let's focus on seven first. So let's bring seven, let's bring the empty square this way, and then four over here. Now, if once again, if the four is blocked in, all you have to do is put the four far away on this side, then focus on seven, and then bring the four back. So now what we can do is we can shift this down into place. So everything on the outside is in place, and all we got to do is worry about this smaller square right here. And if the puzzle is solvable, this small square should always be able to rotate some way to arrange itself in the correct pattern. Okay, so now I'm going to go over some of the side cases that I was talking about. So we have two in the corner. Let's bring one over here. But now for the three, when we swap it, the three gets stuck. So what we're going to do is we're just gonna forget about the one and we're just gonna focus on the three. Now the three is in the correct place and then we can put the one back. So that's one way to get out of that situation. And this is the last possible situation where you can get stuck. So we have one, two, three ready. And if we bring seven in the correct place, it's gonna be very hard to bring four in the correct place because we either mess up seven or mess up four. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put focus on putting the four all the way over here first. So on the side, so it doesn't interfere with seven. And then we put seven in the right place and then we bring four in the right place. And then we can just finish the puzzle.